What's up guys, this is Omega Liar, and this is the last gameplay of uh, my Create a Class custom setup analysis series or whatever. And uh, today I'm going to be bringing you a gameplay with the RSASS with the silencer, and obviously I'm not using it right now. But after my first death, I pick it up, and that's where I get most of my kills from. Um, while we're not talking, while I don't have the RSASS, I just want to say that uh, I do very well in this game. Uh, I get a lot of kill confirms, and, um, yeah, that's about it, but now that I've died, <laughs> let's talk about the RSASS. So, the RSASS is comparable to the M21, it's, uh, comparable to the Dragunov, and, I mean, it's not, it's not really on the same level as the Barrett and the L118 and MSR. The, because it's not a high power sniper rifle. Right um, without a silencer, it gets a one shot kill. I think only to the head and neck. And um, with the silencer, I think it loses all one shot kills. But the way, you're, um, the way I think you're supposed to use it, because it's not really meant for sniping per se, but um, it definitely works well as sort of a makeshift assault rifle. And if you um, get up closer, but not too close to the enemy, and you um, you take the advantage of staying off radar, uh, then I think it actually makes it works pretty well as an assault rifle. And uh, I've seen I've been able to do pretty well with it. But um, there's other ways you can run it. You don't have to run a silencer. Uh, you can run it with extended mags, and that's also good. Even though it actually has the highest ammo capacity out of any sniper rifle ever. Uh, it's got 20 bullets, which is something new to the Call of Duty series. Normally, sniper rifles never have more than 10, uh, with the exception of extended mags. But um, you, you, it's got a high fire rate if you're if you can pull the trigger that fast, and um, it's got low recoil, and it only goes in one direction. It's like about a third of the Barrett recoil. It goes up into the right, and that's it. But it goes up into the right very lightly. And going prone actually reduces this, and I'll, I'm gonna make a video about prone because there's some interesting stuff about it that I think a lot of people sort of take for granted. But the RSASS can also be run with an ACOG, and this straight up turns it into an assault rifle. I uh, maybe am not, or maybe not. You've seen my clip of the RSASS where I got my collateral, and uh, there I was playing an extremely aggressive role with the sniper rifle. But uh, it was pretty clear I wasn't using it as a sniper rifle, I was using it as a semi-auto weapon. And um, I would use the M14, but the fire rate cap really kills me, and I just jumped into host migration there. But yeah, the, the fire rate, while it has practically no recoil, and it's pretty all the attachments on the gun are usable, and it's got, the I think, the best range out of any assault rifle. Um, I, I can't deal with the fire rate cap, I need to be able to shoot quickly. And... Um, yeah, so that that's essentially why I'm, I've been developing, in a sense, tactics for the RSASS because um, I'm pretty upset with the fire rate cap. I don't think it's necessary. People with modded controllers, uh, while they do piss me off at times, they're not like they're not necessarily detrimental to the game itself. Um, maybe in uh, ten games, you'll find one person with a modded controller, but even then, there's other there's better setups than an M14 anyway. Um, but yeah, um, more recently, the, the, before I actually got this game, I've been starting to run the RSASS with a silencer and ACOG. And um, also, <laughs> here the reason I'm looking at this is because uh, my friend actually asked me to take a quick look because he wanted to figure out if he, there'd any be anything he'd recognize. And I guess you can sort of call that an Easter egg with all the magazine. But I'm finding that with um, a silencer and ACOG, it actually becomes a very good assault rifle, not even a sniper rifle, because it has no one-shot kill and it, you lose the ability of the scope, and it, it, it brings like a whole new cl um, class of weapon. It's that sort of weird ground between a sniper rifle and assault rifle. It's a, a sort of good for the close range in some situations, but it's also very good at long range uh, with the somewhat light recoil and the high power. Because it it's, uh, it maintains a two shot kill at all ranges, which uh, I don't think you can say for any other weapon class. Because not even the LMGs can hold their damage over range; they still drop down one bullet most of the time. And that was a ridiculous kill cam. Props to that guy. But <clears throat> if if I were to give you advice, you want to take advantage of staying off radar. I mean, this is a class where I say where I can say you can use assassin, 
and uh, that's not that's something I actually uh, encourage. More recently, I've been running Assassin, but I've also been playing a lot of Search and Destroy with this class because um, you got the ghillie suit, and it makes playing that easier. But um, you also you also want to run a secondary that you can do well with because the RSASS, while good, um, is really not that good at close range. So uh, I do recommend the submachine gun um, with overkill or a um, S or a, what is it a machine pistol because um, you want to have that close range advantage whenever you can get it and uh, if you're running sleight of hand which most of the time I do but other times I run scavenger you get the fast swap and it becomes more like a pistol anyway you see right here I pick up a double headshot with the TMP or uh, MP9 boom right there I thought that was pretty sweet uh, technically that was my first double headshot. But I don't think it was in one bullet, so it doesn't count as an all-pro, uh, which I'm still trying to get. I've gotten it in every game so far, though, so maybe maybe I'll get lucky. Even when I got World of War, I had it, and um, I got that game late. But when I get an all-pro, you'll see it. <laughs> I've also gotten um, collaterals with the PM9, which was interesting, but I can't find the clip. Anyway, back on topic. Um... Oh, I don't have any time to talk about anything. Well, we won. Uh, those are my tips for the RSASS. It's not necessarily the best gun, and um, a lot of people won't be able to do well with it, but it is fun if you know what you're doing. So just take these tips in, uh, into mind, and you might be able to do well. I get a good score of 23-3 and three with one assist. You don't pick up a lot of assists with this gun either, because getting after you hit the first shot, the second shot's easy. But if you like the comment, right, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next commentary, and peace out, guess.